I think after it was all over and done with the Once Upon a Hell of a Time record, I just, I was satisfied with it in a big way, but I also, I for some reason, didn't feel like uh, the songs themselves kind of got enough light shown on them. It is a reimagining of a previous album. Please welcome to the show, Matt Mays. Hi guys. Hey Matt. I worked with Eric Ratz, the producer, and him and I get along famously, and uh, he likes to have a laugh. So a lot of the th things on the Twice Upon All of the Time, I was doing just to crack up Ratz uh, in the studio, and then he ended up wanting to keep them. He's like, no, that's, I think that's actually pretty good. I had kind of a, a bunch of stations set up where I would try each song in different keys and different time signatures, and some of them are in 6-8, that used to be in 4-4. Four, four. Um, and we did it in the order of the record, just so that each one would sound different than the one before or after it. She snuck in with the dawn Just like summer she was gone And lonely's just a word it was a, a lot of lyrics are kind of a bummer. I, I went through a breakup and lost a couple of friends in tragic ways, and it was a really kind of a dark time in my life. I'm a hummingbird in hawk wings, designed to be free. When you lose multiple people and you get you start singing these songs, you don't even know who you're talking about. Sometimes you're talking about a relationship with uh, you know somebody you you were with with. And then other times it was about a friend who you're not with that day. It was really weird to me about how all the sentiment sort of cross-faded into different songs and themes and, and everything. It was kind of about all of it at once, I guess. And, and it felt good to kind of not have a specific song about one person or thing, but just sort of every day was different. Even when I sing them live, it's about somebody different or something. It's, it's, it's very strange. <clears throat> yeah. It's, yeah, it's a really, uh, uh, on many levels, a really good, good thing to uh, to look back on those times that I had a really good time. But it's also really inspiring to sort of uh, to take on the next sort of half of my career with uh, with a clear head. Shining off the back of my eyes, well I lay here, well I lay here trying to dream. You know, I spent a long time sort of running and and uh, sort of I like the the forward motion feel of life is my favorite sort of feeling.